Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to be showing you around one of my favorite thrift stores in the world. Not just in Tokyo, not just in Japan, in the world. This store is called Kiki2 and it's located in the town of Koenji in Tokyo. Koenji is such a beautiful suburb. It's kind of close to Shinjuku. It's only about 20 minutes away on the train. You can access it from the Metro line or the JR line. So the store that I'm showing you guys today, it's basically halfway in between the Metro line and the JR line which means that no matter where you're staying in Tokyo, you're probably going to be able to get there quite easily. Now I found out about this store because of a subscriber of mine. I met her in a Shibuya in a Starbucks and uh, we were chatting on Instagram after that and she told me you have to visit this thrift store. She said everything is pastel, everything's pink, it's adorable, I know you're going to love it. So I'm so glad that I visited it. Today's video, this is my second visit to this store. My first visit I had already bought a lot of clothing on that trip to Japan and I didn't have any more room in my suitcase so I said to myself next time I go back to Japan I'm going to visit this place I'm going to make a video about it and every time I go there it's just absolutely magical so today's video I'll be showing you around the store showing you some of the incredible items that you can find there and I'll also show you the stuff that I bought which I'm very, very excited about. But before we get into it, I wanna say a quick thank you to Audible for sponsoring today's video. If you don't know what Audible is, it's the incredible audiobook service that I absolutely love because it's helped me so much with studying my Japanese. You can sign up for Audible with a free trial and members get a credit every month that they can use on any audiobook and they also get two free Audible originals. My New Year's resolution for 2020 was to improve my Japanese and I definitely have because this time last year, when I was using Audible, I was listening to beginner's Japanese lessons, but I've moved on to some more advanced content now. I've found an audiobook that I love, and it's called Japanese Short Stories for Beginners. Now, even though it says it's for beginners, I do think that it's a little bit more advanced than some of the beginner's content that I've listened to on Audible before. This one is really, really good because they run through short stories in Japanese, and then they do the English afterwards. They kind of break it up. So they'll tell a little story in Japanese and maybe it'll be along the lines of, you know, I woke up in the morning and I got changed and I went outside and they'll say it in Japanese and then they'll follow that with English and then they'll go back to Japanese and tell a bit more of the story and then follow it with the English, go back to the Japanese like that. It's really good because there's a lot of words that I do know, but then there's also some words that I don't know. The way that I like to listen to these sort of audiobooks is I'll listen to the Japanese and I'll pause it and then I'll try and write down what I think that they just said and then I'll hit play and then they'll go through the English and then I sort of correct myself and I find my mistakes and I might go on to Google and look up some words and it's a really enjoyable way of learning Japanese and I always find that if you write down the Japanese as you're listening and you try and transcribe it, it really locks it into your mind. So that's one that I can recommend, but Audible has thousands of titles available. There's so many Japanese language courses. They range from very, very basic to advanced as well. So if you're thinking of picking up Japanese, maybe you wanna travel there one day, I definitely recommend you try out Audible. If you wanna give it a go for yourself, you can head to audible.com slash prettypastel or text prettypastel to 500, 500 You can start your free trial. You'll get one audiobook a month and two Audible original and I definitely recommend if you're planning a trip to Japan that you try out a Japanese audiobook. You can download the titles and listen to them offline which is what I love to do because then when I'm on the plane on the way to Japan I'm listening, I'm practicing and you can listen across devices without losing your spot which is super helpful for me because I'll sometimes switch between like my iPad or my phone, my computer. There's thousands of titles to choose from. It's free to try. If you want to give it a go, head to audible.com slash prettypastel or text prettypastel to 500, 500 So with that, let me take you into the beautiful world of the pastel thrift store in Tokyo. <laughs> The store is really easy to spot from the outside. They always have clothing racks lined up outside with beautiful pastel jackets. They also had a $5 bin. Everything in the bin was 500 yen. There were some incredible pieces in this bin that I cannot believe they were only $5. I had some incredible finds that I'm very, very excited about.
You can easily spot the store because it's got a glowing neon sign that says Kiki 2. There's so many jackets and sweaters and dresses and they are made so well. The clothing that you find in thrift stores like this, the quality is like nothing you can compare to compared to fast fashion from, you know, modern brands. It's just leagues ahead. It's so well made. It's built to last. Some of these pieces, I found a jacket in this store last time that I was there that I think was probably from the 50s. <laughs> they often have vintage items, they have new items, they've got jeans, they've got dresses. There's a lot of accessories in this store as well. There is only one change room though. It's a very small little change room, but it is absolutely adorable. You can get lost in this store despite how small it is. You just walk around and everywhere you look, you keep spotting new things. You keep seeing things that you didn't spot the first time that you walked past. Keep an eye out for the jewelry and the accessories. There's some really unique pieces in there. On the day that I was there, they were having a sale and all of the coats and sweaters were 50% off. I tried on this beautiful pink coat. I loved it so much. It was like $30 and I wasn't entirely sold on buying it, but then one of the staff members came around to me and told me it was 50% off, so obviously I had to have it. So I didn't actually try anything on while I was in the store. I bought a couple of things, but because the change room was so small and it was quite busy when I went, I didn't end up trying anything on. So I really hope that these things are gonna fit me. This place is open quite late at night. The last time that I went there, there was no one inside. It was completely empty. Uh, but that was probably five or six o'clock at night. Obviously this time I was there right in the middle of the day and it was packed. They don't have any baskets, which makes things a little bit difficult because if you're like me and you just grab things off the rack, you spot, you're like a kid in a candy shop. You just keep grabbing at things and then you've kind of got it all draped over your arm and it gets very difficult to carry and then it gets very heavy and then you slow down and then you kind of feel a bit demotivated because you're tired and you don't want to keep looking, but you know there's so many cute things still left to look at. And it's, life's tough. Life's tough, isn't it, Archie? There's just so much to look at and so much to appreciate in this store. So let's pop on some soothing beats and I'll give you a little bit of a tour. So I wanted to set myself a budget of $100. I wanted to see how much I could get for $100 and how good the quality would be and uh, how adorable and how pastel I could go for a hundred bucks. And 
I think I did very, very well, especially considering the stuff in the 500 yen bin was so good. So first up, how could I say no? This is a pom pom purin smock dress. This is just... How could I say no? Five dollars, guys. Five dollars. And it's made really, really, really well. It's actually beautiful fabric. It's got little buttons running up the side. It's got these big pockets at the front. It's not the most flattering cut, but I can definitely imagine wearing this in the kitchen, you know, almost like an apron. Now, I wasn't entirely sold on this one because I had a $100 budget. I uh, took the items to the front counter and it only came to about 80. So I thought I can get a couple more things from the $5 bin. And I got this little cardigan. It's not quite pastel enough. It's a little bit kind of dark. I guess this is purple, right? It's like a purpley gray. But what I loved about it is it has daisies on it. As you guys might remember, my favorite line of all time, stick a bunch of daisies on it. <laughs> stick daisies on any piece of clothing and it's automatically totemo kawaii desu ne. Had to have this one. This was just too cute. I love these sort of cardigans for autumn. I think autumn weather really suits this sort of thing because you can just throw it on over a summery kind of dress. But also you can layer something like this in winter. Looks kind of nice with the turtleneck on underneath as well. So this one for five bucks, definitely a good find. Next up, I got a beautiful skirt. This is so nice. I love the color of this. This was hanging up right in the doorway and I saw it and I knew I had to have it. It's by a brand called Bubbles Tokyo. This feels really well made. I definitely noticed a big difference between this and some of the skirts I've got from Yes Style in the past. It, it's a very, very thick fabric and it's like triple line. It's so thick. It smells just like sugar. I feel like they spray all of their clothes with like a sugar scent because they weren't sweet enough already. Ah, the coat. She had me hook, line, and sinker when she told me it was half price. I mean, $30 for this was already very, very good. It's a really warm coat. It's got this detachable fluffy collar. It has the most beautiful buttons. The buttons are all sparkly and shiny and in the shape of love hearts and it's sickening. It's sickening how cute this is. It has the belt, it's got little frilly details running down the front and all around the base of it. The only thing that I wasn't entirely sure about, it comes with two belts and I just don't quite know what I'm meant to do with them. But the main thing, it has pockets, ladies and gentlemen. A coat that's long and pink and fluffy with pockets and love heart sparkly buttons for $15 only in Japan. This was in the $5 bin and this is exactly like a shirt that I've got from Dolls Kill. <laughs> Pretty sure the Dolls Kill one was at least like $20, $30. This was, this was five and it's my favorite color. <laughs> These tops are very unusual. I really don't exactly know how to style it. And in some ways it does look like just a giant tissue. But if I see a piece of clothing that's my favorite color and it's only $5 and I think that I can work with it, and it's unique. There's no stopping me. Do the stretchy thing now, because there's actually a floral design when you do it. Have you noticed that? No. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, it becomes flowers. Yeah. Oh, it's like a magic trick. Yeah, it's so cool. What? Oh, it's such what? a cool shirt. Oh, I didn't even notice that. What the hell? <laughs> this is awkward. I can't find the rest of the clothes. They're probably buried in the bottom of my suitcase, but maybe they're in the wash. So what I'm gonna do, I will have a look for them, and then when I find them, I will post a cute little montage of myself wearing all of them. So I found the missing pieces, they were in the wash. When I got back, Daniel put them in the wash for me because as you can see, I uh, can't eat anything in Japan without getting soy sauce on myself. So please ignore the soy sauce nipple. <laughs> There's also a couple of items that I picked up last time that I was here, which was back in the summer. So I've got some really nice summery dresses, but I didn't notice very many summery items on my most recent trip. It all seemed to be winter wear. But uh, yeah, here's some dresses that I got uh, earlier last year.
There is one last thing. I got this adorable little cherry hair clip, which goes nicely with the new hairstyle. You just have to kind of figure out the placement of it though. I, I don't know exactly where it's supposed to go. There's a lot of people that don't like my fringe now, so I guess I can always clip it off to the side. Is that how you're supposed to do it? Looks much more cute from the side than it does uh, looking face on. Face on, it's like, why is there a red ball hanging off the side of her head? Side on? Very cute. That's it guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you liked the little tour of the adorable pastel thrift store in Koenji. If you have been to Japan and you know of any other cute thrift stores, please let me know in the comments down below. I have visited a lot of thrift stores, but this is the only place that I've found that specializes in pastel clothing. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to uh, hit the notification bell as well to keep up to date with any of my other videos that I'm posting soon. I do have a bit of content coming from Japan, so keep an eye out for those. If you end up visiting Kiki 2 because you watched this video, leave a comment down below and let me know. I hope that you find some stuff that you love. I'm sure that you will. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah.